Hello to everyone watching this footage. Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. I hope everyone had a decent Christmas. And I hope everyone has a, a good new year and such for the upcoming 2023. So this will be the last video for me to make in 2022. And thank you everyone who's been able to tag along like over this time of me making this podcast and my blog and such. And I uh, hope you guys have some decency. And at the end of this video, I'm going to introduce a surprise to every one of you guys. But first, I have to get back to business by introducing three new characters to you guys. And I... Hope that it's satisfactory for you guys, because I I'm, I have to make this work, to be honest. So bear with me as I describe them to you, and just do all you can, okay? Thank you in advance. Here's the first one. Kailasa. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight, varied. Status, hero, and biological fusion. Base, default earth, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior. She has a borderline personality. She's also determined to protect all innocents from countless threats. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses. Her two ha halves share the same weaknesses. Powers. She's the biological merging of Kygericus and Colossa. Eyes, deep purple. Hair, platinum white and spiky. Origin. One time, Kygericus and Colossa were fighting against the villainous Queen Kydra down in Beijing. However, the two heroes were knocked simultaneously onto the main power station of the city, causing them to instantly merge into a single being. After she defeated Queen Kydra, the new hero was examined by Pip, who diagnosed this as being as Kygericus and Colossa being fused into one new creature, and thus was named Kylossa. Soon, Kylossa helped Goddess with a fight against Cosmic and successfully sent her back to her extra dimensional lair. Afterwards, Goddess rewarded Kylossa by splitting her back into Kygericus and Colossa, as well as making Kylossa her own independent being much to the delight of the innocents. Costume. She's covered with green scales. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Order inspiration, Kygericus and Colossa. The next one I'm going to introduce is another interesting one. So bear with me, please. Lady Fathom. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 240 feet. Weight, 17,000 tons. Status, villain, and weapon of mass destruction. Base, two Earths, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage, destructive, and willful. She's always willing to kill. Lethality, utterly chaotic when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, nuclear weapons. She has a strict intolerance for the military. Powers. She has a huge size, great strength, sharp claws and teeth, and can emit a virulent play. She later developed a large pair of wings that enable flight. Eyes, vivid green, hair, tannish red, and luscious. Origin. One time, Tyranitar figured that a good way to get her revenge is to create one of the deadliest reptilians the two Earths had ever seen. After altering a few samples of her own DNA, Tyranitar created a horrendous six-legged entity with the waist-up body of a woman and waist-down the body of a massive lizard, being named simply Lady Fathom. She was commanded by Tyranitar to annihilate all life in the Tokyo of the Alpha Earth. But eventually, Lady Fathom 
was miserably defeated by the combined efforts by the efforts of a visiting Kaijericus. Sorry about that. Urging to get back at her new nemesis, Lady Fathom developed a new pair of wings alongside a new objective in life. To destroy the Queen of the Mutants. Costume. She wears a green scaly top. Team Solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration? The Redosaurus. Also known as the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, which is a horror movie made in 1953. Here's the last character, and I hope you guys could bear with me. You get the drill. Here it is. Madam Hydro. Real name? Unrevealed. Height and weight? Varied. Status? Hero. And ally of Captain Explosion. Base? Alter Dimension? Mobile. Intelligence? Three brains. Behavior. Willful and protective. She always enjoys defending the USA. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses? Rejection. She is easily carried away. Powers. She's entirely made of hydrogen energy. Possesses a variety of hydrogen-based powers, flight, and uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes, sky blue, hair, sky blue, and wavy. Origin. In the altered dimension, the native Captain Explosion is rather a hydrogen-based entity known only as Madame Hydro. One day, Madame Hydro was transported via portal to the Alpha Earth of the default dimension, where Captain Explosion asked her to help with an objective that involves having to deal with the notorious Nazi kaiju, known simply as Nazi. After a time of fighting the threat, Madame Hydro and Captain Explosion had finally defeated Nazi by blowing her to bits. Since then, Madame Hydro would spend her time helping other alternate dimensions with problems, alongside her native USA. Costume. She's composed of hydrogen energy. So she doesn't really need one if you think about it. Teams, solitary, with Captain Explosion and other heroes. Original inspiration, hydrogen bombs. Well, those are the three characters. I hope you guys could forgive me for some of the typos that I have to repair once I'm done with all this sequencing and such. And here's the surprise. On Christmas Eve, my dad's mom made me a shirt. But not just any shirt. It may have the picture incorrect because of a miscommunication, but it's the very first piece of merchandise for my Leviathan universe. It's a t-shirt that's referencing things that I created out of nothing, basically. And it looks exactly like this. Due to it having the wrong picture, I'm never going to wear it, but I'm always going to keep it, because I hope this means that it will help me in the long run in terms of basically the, uh, like, the butterfly effect and increased chances of being successful in the long run. I hope you guys had a decent Christmas, and I hope you guys would have a decent New Year and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And until next time, Happy New Year, Happy 2023, enjoy your time and such, and until next time, in transmission.